It is Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And with me, as usual, is my <laughs> Patriot Sorgatron Media and Sidekick Media Services. Uh, Missy Sorg on the couch playing with the dog. We're, we're trying to get his attention, and it only gets attention when it thinks there's food. So I tossed her a battery. <laughs> The dog is very interested. Well, and the thing is, he's trying to lick what's in my hand, which, which means he's, battery. he's trying to lick the battery. Have you ever licked we a battery, are, Sorg? We are the worst animal owners ever. <laughs> Have you ever put your tongue on a battery? No, no, I've not done that. Because people tell me, don't do that. <laughs> oh, amazing. So the dog's with us. Podcast dog is with us. He's probably going to hop out be, up beyond Missy there <laughs> in the meantime as you're best with it. Poor dog. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is Basic Ergonomics. We talk about uh, just whatever's going on, and we got some stuff going on. I'm sorry. I'm so entertained by this right now. <laughs> it's off camera, but you get the idea. Um, but no, we had some, some pretty cool stuff happening today, uh, the last couple of days, and again tomorrow, actually. Um, and we did this last year uh, to, to a great effect. But if you go over to um, look up SAE Baja, SAE Aero Design, and as of tomorrow, SAE Formula, uh, there's going to be some Facebook Lives there. Um, this is, you know, to explain kind of what this client does, um, it's a college design series uh, portion of SAE International, which is the Society of Automotive Engineers. And um, <laughs> he just pillowed the dog. Uh, but anyways, so, so they have these competitions, and those, these are the things that we're doing a lot of podcasting and video around uh, for client work for them. Yeah. They had the bright idea yesterday or last year to do they had to do a registration. This thing usually sells out well under an hour for most of the events. And it's usually a pretty like a pretty eventful thing in the office, right? That uh, you know, these are the personalities that everybody sees. Um, you know, when they come to the registration table and they interact with it, you're know, leading up to the event. So so we did that and then just you know, I, I have, you know, their iPhone logged in and we're doing that and, and they're calling out how many teams are left, answering questions. And it was a really big thing last year with with Baja in particular because the server went down and they were able to respond immediately. I probably did a basic sorgonomics on it back then, I feel. But but it was, you know, a big thing that it could have been a, just a PR disaster. It's their biggest event, and and just the server just was not up because of some technical problems on the back end. And instead, it was they were able to talk with everybody and kind of smooth over the problem. There's going to be a lot of people who are definitely pissed, but you were able to um, kind of mitigate that a little bit, answer questions, you know, talk about people are seeing like we we were following them through closed door meetings and everything like that. And we did the same thing uh, now for two of the three registrations. Hopefully, not a fourth if the if the uh, servers stay up because we we did we went back and did it again um, last time. And uh, and it's been it's been pretty cool so far because they know what they want to do. We start about an hour before registration, and uh, we're talking with Amanda, who's who's kind of the head of the social media part of this. We're, we're checking in with people. We're checking in with other other organizers, uh, people in the department, the head of the department, the marketing person um, through, and the dog has something to say about that. Uh, but but it's been a really cool experience. And today, uh, you know, remembering how many, and then they sell about 100 teams plus maybe, I think maybe another, you know, a, a big wait list after that, and they sell out, right? Um, and in both cases today and yesterday, everybody sold out in under two minutes. We're talking three events for Baja. We're talking two events from Aero Design. It was just kind of shocking how quickly and how smoothly everything went. IT has been on top of this thing uh, uh, this year. So that, that's been a pretty cool thing to see. And, and, and Missy, I don't know if you, I know I shared it. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> the, uh, I don't know if you saw, I know I shared out a little bit of the stream. Uh, did you get a chance to see any of it uh, during the course of the day, uh, today or yesterday? Yeah, I checked out a little bit of it yesterday, and it's kind of cool because, again, Amanda's given information about, you know, this year's events and different things that they're doing, and you have, like, the very live interaction with the registration process, um, which is great because, again, if, if I'm tuning in and it's I have questions, essentially she's answering the questions that are coming up or that would be coming up in that live video. Um it's also nice because, again, like you, you commented about last year, when issues arose, she was able to address those issues directly right there with what was going on with stuff. Uh, 
the people that were there live on Facebook watching for the registration video, they were able to see, oh, okay, they're having computer server issues. They're having problems. They're going to, they're working on it. They're working to address it. It's, it's in process. So it, it's kind of cool. And I know working with Amanda uh, before, um, with like PodCamp, different things, she and I had a fun conversation about how different it is with using social media for their aspect of stuff versus how other companies use and promote their social media thing because it's literally just you know around these events that they're doing and it's you know uber focused uh, on their message and it's it's again it's something that other places other people other companies other you know social media people can be a little bit creative because they have different things that they're offering whereas she's using the social media tools as another mechanism for kind of fostering and aiding people in that registration process, information and policies type of thing. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, it's interesting to see how they've adapted it in order to do that. I mean, it is interesting because you got to think going into an event like this, people will be like, Hey, the roles are listed right here on the website and you better visit it and you better read them. And, da, 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 da. and well, you know, there is like, I, you know, not the rules, but just like information about the event. If mm-hmm. you didn't go to an event.com, you know, whatever event is.com and read everything and understand it and, 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 and that's it. Email us, you know, call us, you know, mm-hmm. you know, or something like that versus now they can disseminate information more efficiently and also where people are. The, ki- the kids, the students are on these mm-hmm. platforms, podcasting, social media, and you're speaking their language, which and they've seen market improvements in how the students respond to that then when they do get to their 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 events when we get to that season well i know one of the things that like she was talking about with regard to you know pre- previous seasons is it's kind of cool because you get all of these kids traveling to the event locations they're all over the place so they're all on you know buses planes whatever they're they're commuting in from their home base which in a lot of cases is international aero aero design is way international it looks like exactly so with them having the podcast especially talking about you know the rules and regulations and the innovations that they're doing for things Mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting because these kids can literally get on the plane have this downloaded into their ipod player and be able to just listen while they're en route um you know they, they can put it on the group mobile you know music player type of thing and be able to listen to the rules and regulations, tips and tricks along the way I, as a team yeah, and absolutely. then discuss it. Absolutely. And I, I can see this being something that, you know, not everybody in the team needs to listen to it, but at least like maybe the captain does or something that's kind of like in charge of the information and making sure everything vets, you know, for that. Or this is something that they have on in the shop while they're working on the car or, or, the, or the plane, depending mm-hmm. on the competition. Um, so, and again, it's just easier than sitting down at a computer in the computer lab or I guess on your phone, but, uh, and, and, and reading through this giant thing of rules, which you should read anyways, but when you have a big thing and it wasn't real thick, I saw the Baja rules today and it's, 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 it's it's significant, (laughs) you know, but it has to be right. And, and, and you know, you're not going to catch everything, Right. And or or you'll read something and it doesn't make sense to you, and that's what one thing they're doing with the podcast is uh, the people that were involved with making the rules kind of explain them a little bit more mm-hmm. and why they are. Yep. Because otherwise, I, I I know that you know you you go up and be like that just seems like a arbitrary thing we decided to do this way to eliminate uh, what was something they were saying today something about about uh, spill guards or something uh, splash guards and 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 seat suspension and things like that right but it's like no we did this because da, 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 this is the issue coming up mm-hmm. bum, 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 bum. you well, know it, I, it, it's for safety or it's for efficiency or it's for costs or it's for for something like this or you, you know whatever the case may be there is a reason for it and these are Smart people coming up with the reasons for it, I guess you could say, in the industry. Here's here's my philosophy on that, and this is probably my legal background kicking in, is... Oh, there's probably a little bit of that involved. If somebody <laughs> is telling you specifically to either do or not do something, yeah, it's because somebody has either done or not done it in the past, and it's caused an issue. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It, it's, it's, some, I mean, seriously, if, when, when you look at your, your hair dryer or your curler, 
and it says, you know, do not use in water. There's a reason for that. Somebody, Somebody has, has found out it. the hard way. Or, or when I was on James Bond Island in Thailand and, and there was a no Pokemon Go, probably because somebody was playing co- Pokemon Go, climbed the wrong rock or fell into the water with their phone because they weren't paying attention. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's lots of things that have potentially happened. Uh, so, no, it, it's a massive thing that people need to take into consideration. Which also, it was really funny because the next island we went to, there was like a warning sign about jellyfish that was completely like anime characters. So, <laughs> like, which, you know, cool. That translates, you know, uh, but still, uh, you know, you know, it, interesting little things like that. But um, no, it's been it's been a really cool experiment. And, and also, I, I, I can't think. What we did last year, I think it was probably more, especially when the server was down and everybody's like, what's going on, right? And <laughs> we, we, yeah, when, when I, the server I, goes down, right. you, you use your Facebook to kind of, you know, throw somebody in front of a curtain to do a little jig. Oh, to, you're clicking on everything and be like, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You know, you're looking at Twitter. You're looking at this. You're looking at, at you know, you're just, just scan, scanning for everything and you find this video and be like, you know, angry face, angry face, angry face. So... Like today, uh, we had 105 concurrent watchers, which is, I think, consistently the highest thing that I do. Uh, we've done some pretty big inst- stuff with, you know, the the event a couple weeks ago uh, with Heltopolis, uh, with the Cool Kids headlining. Uh, we've done uh, uh, things with uh, live interviews with uh, Mayor Peduto of Pittsburgh, with uh, Public Source, and consistently I see, you know, it, it, a good, a good, a good thing, a good like bar i guess for live is what i look at sometimes and those are around 30 well right? and the thing is usually with the live videos especially like if, if you're doing something unless it's you know a, a live kesha concert or something that they're doing by a facebook live right you you have the people that are popping in and checking it out seeing what it is maybe they're doing it on the way to somewhere so they don't have time to fully you know invest in it mm-hmm. but then you do have your especially for the podcast that we do we have core people who come in and they stay the entire show absolutely so you you, you do have those listeners but this this is an event like this isn't this is like the height of interaction on a facebook live i think when you talk about a confined space, like a, a confined audience. Mm-hmm. This is kind of that in a digital a captive, space. A captive, a captive audience. audience. Thank yes. you. That's what I was looking for. A confined, I, from safety training, confined space is a whole other thing in my head. <laughs> exactly. Well, captive, don't go in that hole. Captive audience don't, is what I was just looking for. Don't go in that hole unless you're protected. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Get the, your gas mask. <laughs> like the captive audience is what I was looking for. Yeah. Um, because these people are coming to this video because they know that it's information that they need to have in order to register. It's information that they need to be aware of with mm-hmm. regard to the competitions. Mm-hmm. They have to f- do this, and for them to go and you know check it out, of course. The other thing is, is that there is so much interest that's picked up on this event. Mm-hmm. You know, these events, plural, uh, that if they're not in there doing it right away, they miss out. All of the events, all five events over the past two two days of registration, have sold out within two minutes. And one in fifty seconds of going online, and we're, like I said, this is between a hundred and I think a hundred and fifty to two hundred. I don't know how high their wait list goes. Uh, all signing up, mm-hmm. you know. Then this is this is the big, the, and this is the big pain, not pain point, but pressure point. Um, um, it's the big, you know, the, the people that didn't make it today have a different uh, next six to eight months, right? Versus yeah. the ones that did. You know, this is, oh, are we doing this this year? Then, you know, and, and they're, they're making, and, and they're really good about, like, making reservations for things they talked about. You know, they already submitted, like, like the Puerto Rican teams with everything going on down there. Mm-hmm. And done the same thing in the past with, with uh, you know, teams in Florida that have been affected by hurricanes around the time that this would happen. Um, you know, plus, and, and, and they've, they've really worked out a lot of those kinks. And it was, it, it was really cool to see, what, like, one, what happens when it doesn't work last year. Mm-hmm. And and seeing how valuable this tool is, and versus even just everything went well, answering questions, squashing bugs. I not only is she in there, but other people in the department that address things like membership and signups and things are in the chat addressing people directly. Mm-hmm. On top of that, the IT department that deals with the website is in the chat room looking for people commenting about bugs and then responding to them directly. And then on top of that, this thing has popped again. You know, everybody is following. 
you know, whatever event page for mm -hmm. whatever their interest is. The, that live video is back up, which means it's going to populate on everybody's feed, you know, and they mm -hmm. leave that up and they, they keep an eye on it for the rest of the day to address problems. It's a pretty cool thing. It's a, it's a really cool tool for them to use. And there's multiple people in multiple departments using this. Yeah, which is nice because, you know, again, you've got their core group as the company, you know, SAE International. They've, they've got their company and they've got different departments that are involved with it. So each of those departments can still be involved within that video space. Mm -hmm. You also have the interaction of the hundreds of schools and educational institutions that are involved with it. Uh, I'm sure that the the host locations are checking it they out. Were, they were actually that, that was about to say uh, the host locations like, were definitely involved and in, in, on there like the organizers themselves. Mm -hmm. Also, like the people on like the alumni who, who maybe even don't even have anything to do with this year's competitions, or, or maybe they volunteer. They're in checking to see how it goes because they remember doing this. Mm -hmm. I actually showed a friend of ours, Frank that actually was a part of the competition. And I know I saw him pop in there and watch it for a little bit because he had to go through this 10 years ago when it was a whole different process. Oh, yeah. You know, between taking phone calls and things like that, or whatever mm -hmm. that process was at the time, uh, then to see see what it is now. And, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, the tech teams and, and things like that. I know I, I, I recognize names from from uh, tech inspection and, and things like that uh, coming up because I was using Amanda's phone and she's friends with all of them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but it's really, really cool to see, like, you have an entire um, event participation kind of coming together on this, and it's really mm -hmm. awesome. So. No, absolutely. And like I said, it's a great integration of the tools available that make the most sense. And, again, they're not spending a whole – bunch of money doing it because they're using a Facebook live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like they're getting a massive, you know, company coming in with specific gear and stuff. They're not having to no, go to no. a studio location. They're basically somewhere. just hiring a body with me, um, to do this. And now I'm, I'm very versed in this and, mm -hmm. and, and there was actually a few problems as in Facebook updated how they do Facebook live this weekend that we can't figure out the chat. I don't know how you see the chat on your app. And it says swipe left and you see all like I could see was people joining, but I couldn't see act like I could see when I sent a chat out via the phone, but I couldn't see. So if anybody got like a basic ergonomics notification this morning and it disappeared, that was us testing it actually. Um, because I went, because we realized that it was like, like I pulled it up and it's like the wait, this is different, you know, than we mm -hmm. used two days ago. Actually, literally Saturday night Between, I was yep. Saturday night I was using Facebook Live. And it was different this mo uh, Monday morning. On Sar Saturday night to Monday morning, it changed. You know, uh, it changed. We we saw it change. The, the screen changed on the on the streaming uh, we were using for PodCamp that just came up, and we use that every night. Yes, thank, for this thank stuff. you, thank you, Facebook. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I mean, and, and so we were able to kind of work on the workflow of that. So. And I got to use my sweet cameraman skills as we're uh, walking around from office to office and talking to everybody. So it's a lot of fun. If you want to check it out, um, of course, it's over on uh, SAE Aero Design and SAE Baja. And then if you want to check us out live, we'll be going live around 9 a.m. Eastern Time on uh, uh, SAE Formula Facebook page. Uh, the registration is at 10. So if you want to see the really interesting stuff, tune in 10 a.m., uh, and I, of course, I, I usually share it on my, my personal account and everything um, on Facebook. I've actually been tweeting it out as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, Sorgatron on the Twitter for that. It's been a really cool experiment. And uh, these guys are uh, really interesting to work with and a really cool. Also, I love that we get to show off the cast of characters that work in the department. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's been really interesting. I appreciated the snap or the Instagram video, whichever one it was that you sent me. That it was the guy over the cubicle. Yes, Sam. <laughs> Sam is great. Sam is not a tall guy, but he climbs up on his desk and has a tall cubicle that's taller than my six foot four ass. Yeah, you know, it's probably like a it's probably a seven foot cubicle, and he's he's you know up over the top and he's flying his little model planes over the top, and he'll just like I'll hear a boom, you know. You know 
you know, table. He's jumped up on it. I'm looking for him. I pan up, and he's like, "Oh, and by the way, don't pe- don't uh, tell people not to forget to do this and this and this when they sign up." You know, <laughs> instead that of coming around the cubicle to us, he just pops up like that. And it's been a really cool. It's a cool visual that happens. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like it feels like that um, howdy neighbor from Home Improvement. I know if there's any. Uh, younger that, that, that's that's my age but uh but 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 it's like that kind of fun thing that they get to do so so check that out uh something cool that we're doing around here just want to share with you guys and we'll be back tomorrow at some point here for basic sorgonomics yes this noonish thing seems to be where this is ending up so uh, that's good for everybody's lunch break out there i guess um if you want to subscribe that basic sorgonomics is on your favorite podcatcher if it's not let us know uh, at Sorgatron Media on the Twitter um, or Facebook or wherever you like to. And, of course, we go live on the Facebook Live for Basic Sorgonomics. And uh, we do post it to a Basic Sorgonomics YouTube page as well, if that's how you prefer to get your content. Uh, we want to make sure it's accessible to everybody in every way that we can. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, we there's a lot of videos going up for PodCamp Pittsburgh. Uh, I think I have about half of the sessions from um uh the the main rooms up there now so you can go check those out a lot of great discussions i'm looking to go listen to the ones that i missed uh from either having my own session or working or you know whatever the case may be i think i saw a whole two sessions which actually isn't bad considering the one dayness of it so yeah yeah that was <laughs> that's a, that's a good record actually <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like there was there was literally like one session that I wasn't scheduled that I was talking, yeah. which is weird because I try not to do that. Mm-hmm. But we had specific people asking for certain, cri- you know, they wanted to talk about certain things. Yeah, it was just like, hey, I want to know this. And we're like, cool, let's do it. And we just step up for it. So. Pretty much. Um, yeah. And I know I ended up helping out with a session uh, for video as well. And so it was good good times a lot of content out there keep an eye out for that new the new sawtooth willy came up yesterday from our 100th anniversary 100th episode yeah 100, <laughs> yeah 100th celebration i know it's his 100th anniversary of being alive according to sawtooth willy but uh that's a fun one tj joined us for that one and they they talked about uh grooming techniques hobo grooming techniques so sawtoothwilly.com and you can see all the links to subscribe where you would like to there and that's all i got we'll see you guys next time basic 